Hey guys, hope everyone is having a happy 2021 so far. And I just want to thank anyone that has recently subscribed. We have surpassed that major milestone of 100 subscribers. Uh, it seems just in a couple of days or so. And uh, it boggles my mind that anyone would subscribe to such a low budget, low effort channel such as mine. But I guess that says something about the uh, how popular the hobby of astrophotography is becoming lately. Uh, I remember when I first got into this hobby four or five years ago, there was just a couple people on YouTube do, doing astrophotography videos, um, like Astro Backyard, and Galactic Hunter, Dylan O'Donnell, of course, and uh, Chuck's Astrophotography was also one that I used to watch back then. Um, so, yeah, thanks guys. Um, anyway, today I'm just doing a small modification to my Edge HD telescope and that is installing some cooling fans in it and I just got these off cloudy nights uh, there's a guy on there selling these I think he, he just 3d prints them and then installs the little fan on the back um, and the wiring here terminates into a female 12 volt uh, terminal and then you could uh, I think you know run an extension with a male end plug directly into a 12 volt source or probably even a cigarette lighter plug or you can do one that uh, terminates into a USB which is uh, what I'm going to do um, so I think the alternative to these um, as far as I know are just the Tempest fans that you can find online and I think those run close to 175 bucks for a set these were 50 um, and I'm sure these are a little bit rougher but if they work they work you know they don't really have to be pretty unfortunately I, I noticed um, they weren't drilled um, ahead of time for the installation so I had to drill two holes in here and also I, I've noticed so far that the screws that are currently in the telescope aren't going to be long enough to use with these so I'm going to have to go to the hardware store to take care of that too but uh, I guess maybe I should just also mention why someone might want to install some cooling fans in their telescope. And that's basically uh, because if the ambient air temperature is significantly cooler than your, your telescope and the air inside your telescope, that can uh, cause issues with um, the quality of your visuals or the images that you're taking. And I think you know the problem might look similar to poor seeing kind of that waviness um, and I, I'm suspecting that's part of the problem I was dealing with a couple weeks ago around the conjunction the daytime temperature is probably upper 20s 30 degrees around here and then as soon as the Sun dips down temperature drops 10 15 degrees pretty quickly so you're even if my telescope was out in the car all day and at ambient temperature when I set up it's going to be chasing that ambient temperature once the Sun goes down and I think the, the larger your aperture, the longer it takes for your telescope to cool down. So hopefully these fans can uh, move some air in and out of the telescope to help that cool down quicker. I have plugged them in. They do work. Uh, barely noticeable. But the fans are turning, so um, hopefully it, it does something. Mm, 50 bucks. So, um, And they also kind of just use the uh, vent screen that's already... Um, in the telescope itself so that it's not blowing dust into the air, dust and other kind of debris. So anyway, I'm going to have to go to the hardware store to pick up some screws and then uh, when we get back I'll turn you around and show you exactly how to fit all this together. So I contacted the seller of these fans on cloudy nights and let them know that something wasn't quite right with them and that got me taking a closer look and apparently um, he didn't clean out the uh, screw holes on the exterior on this side so um, there are actually supposed to be countersunk holes uh, on this exterior side not just holes drilled straight through so the, the screw sits down in there so I drilled them through from the back side um, but then I also had to take a screwdriver and dig out some of the plastic material around it to reveal the countersunk portion. Um, so they're actually plugged in right now and 
I can barely hear like a little buzzing or a little ticking. The camera probably won't even pick it up, but I'll unplug them so you can see. There's the fan stopped. And let's plug it back in. And there it goes. So this is uh, one pushes air, one pulls air out. So uh, I believe this is the side that's pulling air out and the one on the other side is pushing. So um, one of the fans will be backwards, the other one will be facing the opposite direction. But looking forward to giving this a shot. Um, when I use this telescope out in the summer, uh, I didn't really have any problems with um, what seemed like uh, cool down issues, but that might have been because uh, you know the temperature was cooling uh, a lot slower than uh, compared to the winter time here. So uh, we'll give it a shot maybe in a couple weeks once the clouds go away and hopefully when the temperatures warm up a little bit. But anyway, hopefully this uh, was helpful. If you're interested in getting these cheap fans, um, you don't want to spend the money on the Tempest ones. Give me a shot in the comments, and I'll uh, I'll send you the guys' uh, contact info on Cloudy Nights. See you guys in the next one.